DJ Black Coffee is undoubtedly a national treasure and not only is he loved and renowned here in South Africa but he has made his mark on the international stage. And in his music career Black Coffee has managed to work consistently in making his mark on the global platform and producing hit after hit after hit. And ever since he burst onto the music scene he has showed zero signs of slowing down or stopping anytime soon. Now this week he was also a guest on the Daily Show show with Trevor Noah, another South African that we love but we're not here to talk about Trevor Noah. Now Sowetan Live did a list about the Umlazi born multi award winning DJ Black Coffee. So let us take a look at 7 things you didn't know about Black Coffee. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Number 7, he has a big heart. In 2009, he announced that 5% of the album sales from his record label, Solistic Music, would be donated to charity. And do keep in mind that DJ Black Coffee sells in the Platinums. Now he also has a foundation that is called the DJ Black Coffee Foundation. So DJ Black Coffee is definitely a philanthropist and has a big heart. Number 6, he was one of the two South Africans to participate in the Red Bull Music Academy. In 2003, Black Coffee was selected as one of 60 participants from 30 countries across the globe, of course, to be part of the Red Bull Music Academy. Now in the academy, upcoming musicians got a chance to hone their skills by getting advice and expertise from industry giants such as Hugh Masikela. Two years after being in the academy, DJ Black Coffee remixed Timela, one of the late Hugh Masikela's hits. Number 5, he is also arty. Now Black Coffee started his career in 1994 when he was still singing in his high school choir and he was also studying the keyboard and during that time he also used to like drawing cartoons. Now I do recall in one of his music videos titled Your Eyes that features Shakana, you see Black Coffee and his wife appearing to be painting some artwork. Now I'm not saying that they are the ones that actually painted but that is a nice kind of nod at his artistic background. Number 4, he set a world record. 20 years after the accident that left his left arm numb, Black Coffee played a 60 hour DJ set using just his right arm. Now in doing this, he set a world record for the longest DJ set using just one upper limb. Now FYI, for your information, a young Red Live was actually there in attendance. It was at Maponya Mall, I remember at the time I was living in Soweto with my mom. So yes, Red Live is actually part of the record. Number 3, the day Nelson Mandela Mandela was released ended tragically for him. Now on the 11th of February 1990 when Nelson Mandela was released from prison, DJ Black Coffee lost the use of his left arm when a speeding vehicle ran over the crowd injuring him. So for those of you who wanted to know when and how Black Coffee got injured on his left arm, now you know. Number 2, he is enrolled in an interior designing course. In January of this year 2019, Black Coffee announced that he is going back to school to study interior design. The now 43 year old Black Coffee dropped out of college when he was 23 years old to take care of his family. But now it seems like he has afforded himself the opportunity to go back to school and further his studies. Number 1, the only time he's in the club is when he's securing the bag. Now according to the reports, while the DJ has people flocking to the clubs, he admits that the only time he ever goes there is when he is working. He also shared that he doesn't drink or smoke. And those are the 7 things that you didn't know about DJ Black Coffee. A bonus fact for you guys, in 1997, him and two other members formed the group Shana. Now Shana stands for Simply Hot and Naturally African. And the three members of Shana met at Natal Technicon. Now if you like the video, you know what to do by now. Give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.